Hello guys, my name is Alex Gomez and on today's video I'm going to show you how to sculpt Bane. This is an illustration that is originally made by Jose Ho Artwork here in Instagram. You can follow him, Jose Ho Art Artwork, an amazing illustrator. Like you can check out his work, follow him. He also has a YouTube channel that you can follow as well like uh, if you really guys want to get into illustration and character design i totally recommend this channel totally recommend to follow his work for awesome sculpting processes and tips and tricks on how to become a better 3d artist subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when i post a video every friday so that's being said, like let's start with our process. We're just gonna start blocking out our character. We start with a polysphere, and we just do the head, and we're gonna just kind of like base on our design, and we just do a, a block out. Uh, a good thing to spend time is blocking out. I think uh, when you block out and you have a really good uh, basis, it's really easier because you're gonna find like a good proportion. So you're gonna find like a good flow. Remember the, the blocking out is the foundation of your sculpt. Like if you have a good foundation, it's just like a house. If a house have a good foundation, the rest is gonna be really good. Obviously, the, it, it means that you have to have a good techniques and skills to represent like whatever you, you want to sculpt. But if you have a really good foundation, it's easier to get uh, really good shapes and, and get ahead with your sculpting. So spend some time doing your, your uh, foundation. So in this case, we're just gonna do a bust. And uh, one of the things that I find uh, really challenging was to sculpt a character with just one view. And I had a, a side view, like sometimes you have a three color view, it's easier. But uh, sometimes like uh, when I used to work um, before in the animation industry I used to like uh, have like a different view like a front view three color side view so it was much easier you had like uh, so many reference to create your your models but in this case I just based this character just uh, on one view and, and it's, it's not the artist's fault at all like uh, his work is amazing it's just like a, it, it's kind of challenging and sometimes clients are gonna show you like oh look there it is, this is what I want, and they just send you like one view of, of the character that that um, they want you to do, and it's it's difficult, it's hard, but you know, like, uh, try to use a little bit of your imagination and, and try to see the proportions, because sometimes like uh, in a side view looks awesome, but that, then when you go three colors, it's gonna be like, this doesn't look right, or you know, like proportions are not like totally right, that's why at the end my character looks a little bit different because I sometimes like uh, you know these ones are personal projects so sometimes I just like to add my own stuff my own experience my own style as well so sometimes I just base in some designs and do the collaborations sometimes I do it exactly the same so other times I just go with the flow and I do my own thing that is what, what is happening now and I really like uh, the way that it's going, like the way that he designed the muscles and like uh, so many like uh, blobby muscles. So, so it's really nice to get all those like uh, muscle fibers around the chest and, and around the shoulders as well. It making like a like a guy like a full of steroids, which Bane is full of steroids per se or whatever chemicals is in his blood. So for example, now like moving after the, uh, doing the body and the muscles, I just uh, focus on the on the mask of, of the head, of the, the head is not as proportionate. Like if you look at it like a, who has a head like that, probably a bird, I will say, but, but yeah, like, you know, I was just basing in, in the design and the design had like a weird shape of head. So I ended up fixing it after. The way that I separate that, I just mask it and then I go in the soup tool and then I split on a uh, mask points and that's gonna split your your uh, your head uh, for example and make sure that you after you do that you dynamesh and then after you dynamesh you see remesh that part so it kind of like it gives you like a better geometry because it's gonna give you like some weird artifacts when you split so make sure you dynamesh always when you split a mask so now we're getting like a little bit more of, of a form here, uh, trying to give that more of a 
of a head shape, you know, like the face, like the mineral look and stuff. So I really enjoy it. This was a really, really speed sculpt. I took, uh, it took me like around an hour and so to get this character done. And I really enjoy it. And it's something I can give you an advice for you guys is just try to sculpt at least an hour a day. And it's gonna, you're gonna see in a month, you're gonna see in two months, your skill levels are gonna grow so much. And sometimes people are like, ah, I just don't know what to sculpt. Hey, get a hand, a finger, uh, look at the sculpt, uh, I don't know, ear, lips, nose, like look reference online and like part of the bodies. And also like a, a monster or something and just sculpt a little bit. You know, we sculpt like a, a horn. For example, by just try to do exercises every single day, like one hour a day, and I assure you, your skills and your sculpting are gonna improve a lot, a lot. I sculpt almost like a one or two hours a day. It's just because I really like it, I enjoy it, and I really feel so fulfilled every time I do it. It's like a, it's my hobby. Sometimes like a, I rather do this than watch TV, to be honest, and I even rather like record my process and share this knowledge with you guys i wish i had like had these resources when i went to school back in 2007 for animation but i didn't so you know i have learned some from so many amazing teachers and and co-workers and and tutorials as well that I, you know like this is my time to give 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 uh, back to the community so i really want to take this this opportunity to give back and uh, yeah definitely so, so i i did in, in this case for the max for for that part of the mask especially i did a mask so sorry for the max mask mask but i did a mask and i what i did was extract the mask i extracted the mask and i did like a, a really a small thickness so instead of sometimes you see people like doing the um, you know split mask in this case you just track the mask and that's just gonna create and right after you extract the mask do a C measure so you have a bare a bare geometry that you can play around and move more and then you can just dyna mesh and, and work more in details so in this case I just uh, did the like uh, the tube that is connected to the head where all the steroids are going for or the liquid like green gross liquid that goes to his body so I use a curve tool and, and I always uh, like to use that when I'm creating like, tubes or creating hairs and stuff like that. So it's a really awesome tool and, or a brush, like curve tool brushes. But anyways, so just keep working with that. Just do like a couple of connections there. And then after that, I'm just, I normally give like a color to it like to every single piece just to have like a better idea of understanding how the, the character is looking um, so for the body I just duplicated uh, my original base mesh, mesh and uh, because I always keep it I always keep it and, um, and I'm doing like a share for it so that's what I'm doing now just the chair giving some details uh, the same case scenario you know you just cut it and mask it and and dynamesh it so you can get like a really cool and then I do some details to the, to the shirt so guys I really comment below like if you like this video and also please visit my compress store to download some awesome goodies that I have I'm gonna leave the link below and thanks for watching and check out my other videos take care have an amazing weekend guys bye